Good morning and welcome back to Star for Monday. This is the lovely Sammy. And this is my friend Norman. So here we are. We're actually filming this on Friday yeah. because uh, life is getting in the way uh, for this Monday coming. And we're hoping that everyone mm. who's tuning in is still alive and well because anything could happen in the next four, three days. But listen, it's been a bit of a mm. week with all this COVID, oh, oh, whatever it's called, coronavirus. Mm. And, um, you know, it suddenly hit me how serious it all was. Um, and uh, yeah. it is a worry. In fact, we were in a Indian restaurant on Wednesday evening. Chris had a bit of a sneeze as well. We nearly cleared the restaurant, to be honest. Honestly, it was ever so Everyone, nice. Everyone's moving away from it. No, well, for a moment, <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. But, um, but listen, it's, it is a time to have a think about, uh, you know, what is going to happen. I'm going on a holiday on Sunday, and it may well be when I come back yeah. that I may have to go into self-isolation, which has happened to a lot of people, mm -hmm. not because they've gone on holiday, but because they're getting some mild symptoms, which we've all been told what to do. We all know the story. Um, so I'll be thinking about what I'm going to do, because I'm going to start banging my head against the wall. But then I thought, I'm going to bring my gym into my home. So Amazing. I think we'll, there's some apps, um, uh, Shami, that we're going to have a look at. Um, mm. Just, just, in your home, make yourself a home yeah. gym. So that might be running up and down the stairs, mm. doing some press up, sit up, you whatever. Can, you, can actually actually find, you can actually find 10 yeah. minute apps. Ten you can. Minute. Is it Joe Wicks? There's all I, sorts of things. I, I've done his. Yeah. I've done his in the past. Also, or maybe yeah. do some yoga. I yeah, like yoga that. is up. You know, people That's don't realise how strengthening it is for the yeah. body. It's not just lying there, there yeah. and it's, it's actually st strenuous. Absolutely. So yeah. that would be actually. That That's meditation, a good for meditation as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm going to look for some mm. nice reading material. Um, yeah. Might actually clean some windows because mine are filthy. Um, but it is just about being prepared mm. for it. So between now and when I go away on Sunday, I'm going to make sure I've down well, I'm download some books when I get home. But have a look and see what I actually want to read. Maybe learn something new. Yeah. Actually, my mother-in-law's giving me some needlework to do. So, you know what? That's very therapeutic. It, it wastes loads of time. And not just that. Sometimes it's good to be in silence but stimulated by something yeah, and enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's good for you. But I think it's easy, it's easy to um, sort of take your eye off the ball. So, oh, for, yeah. so for people that are on target, trying yeah. to, if they've just started something new and they want to keep it going, um, you, know, you know, it's not the end of the world. Life doesn't have to stop exactly. Yeah. It's, it, it's, gonna, it's really hard to remain focused when there's this huge distraction of the coronavirus thing going on and yeah. it's very easy to let everything go and to stop concentrating mm. on the things that are good for you. Yeah. So like not eating the chocolate in the fridge or not, you know, I think we're going to be looking yeah. for things to comfort ourselves with and that might mm. mean that we might... We not, do indulge. If we're not going out, we mm. might drink more at home and might eat more snacks because we haven't got enough to do so we may turn to the fridge or the cupboard, um, and, and get into a very sloth mentality of just sitting around. But there are things, if you're, if you're lucky enough to have a garden, get out in your garden. Yeah. There's no reason why you can't get out and do that, yeah. and uh, just find some activities to do in the home. I think yeah. it's important that we uh, that we try and do that, and, and maybe even just to seek out some new opportunities. Yeah. Maybe you can get on the phone and ring a few people. You know what? We don't do that. We, do we? We, we actually don't. It's all a it's all on text. It's all so a so if you least. actually, if you actually use the time to utilize it yeah. for self, and re sometimes even yeah. just re rediscovering yourself. Yeah. I might even write yeah. some letters. I've got um, I've got some elderly relatives actually in Ireland, and um, they find it a bit hard to hear on the phone. So I think I might put pen to paper, and. Uh, Send them a letter. There you go. We don't normally get time to do that. You don't do things like that no. anymore. So go back to basics. Go back to basics. Mm. I think it'd be great. And I might even get the house cleaned as well, right? Okay. But anyway, it's um. We hope that everyone can keep well. Um, and we just need to lean in and yes. get on with it. It's very difficult. It's though, keeping it? the momentum up for yourself and whatever, like Noreen yeah. said. If it's in the home, if it's. Even outside in your garden, even if it's for a walk, yeah. you know the total isolation where we're getting really scared. Outside in the garden yeah. is 
It's safe. It's it's safe. safe. It's yeah. safe. And people not coming into contact with other people. People, exactly. I mean, yeah. I finished work this week, and every time I finished work, I went for a three mile run. Did you? Yeah. 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 Just to make sure that, because I'm sitting in the car in traffic. Oh, yeah. I'm sitting at work. Yeah, I am manoeuvring, but not the way I should, should be, be to get. Yeah. And I know what I should be getting. So it's only taken me half an hour, and I've done it, gone home, but I know mentally. It's good for you. I feel amazing afterwards. I just feel like we've got so much information yeah. overload, and actually, it's beginning to get me a bit down. So I'm glad to yeah. be going away on mm. Sunday and not put the telly on, not listen to any news as far as I can. I don't And, actually, and I, just I, not. Mm, it's, it's very it's just to get you down. Yeah. And um, there is a sense of panic, I think. And we've had the whole toilet mm. roll situation and the past. Oh, thing. yes, in England, every, everything's gone toilet paper. I, I don't gone. know what that's all about. I don't know where. No. where you are in the world but we have no toilet paper left i mean today i was in london working and women had no toilet paper in their local oh, supermarket so they were giving the other women who had who were going to costco to get toilet paper right toilet paper and hand sanitizer. i know really? i think i think it'll be a great lesson and i was talking to uh, my neighbor today mm. and we were saying that um we felt like uh, it was a bit of a bubble burst situation where it was about time, it was a bit of a wake up call for everyone to think about like how lucky they are to have their health and it makes you really think about mm. when it can go wrong and how much we take things for granted. Mm. Very true. And I think um, this could be a period of time where you know, there's always going to be opportunists who are probably yeah. going to make money out of this. People that have nicked all the toilet roll and are selling it on eBay as a for instance. But I think also it's about thinking about how we treat our fellow neighbours, how we yeah. might think, I'm touching my face here, so probably mm. should do that. Um, but like, it is about being, we're all on the same, in the same boat here. Yes, and it's, you know what it is, and if we're actually honest, like you're saying, yeah. we're all in the same boat, and yeah. don't get the panic so much that it's affecting you here too much yeah, exactly. because your well-being is the most yeah. important thing and if you're mentally feeling okay you're going to look after your family because today i heard they're going to close schools next wow. Friday. boris yeah. has been your head is going so i've not put the TV on no today. no i didn't I, I i you know i go home and i only put netflix on so i'm going to watch anything <laughs> because I, I don't want to know because it's but on the radio yeah, no on say. the radio i'm listening to it and there's so much panic and i'm thinking yeah we're all getting so I've, agitated. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, and at work today, I saw all those women whose children. Where are they going to go? I know. Laurie? I think. I think. I think we have to. We have to trust that um, the people in the know are getting making the right yeah. decisions for us, and we have to just go along with that. Yes. It's a thing that's definitely yeah. happening. You know, these things happen cyclically yeah. to the human race. Other things have come at us. This is a. This is a, this thing for 2020. Yeah. Um, you know, we're going to, obviously we're going to get through it and it's all going to be yeah. fine. Um, but at the moment, I think it's just such a lot of negativity. It's breeding a lot of negativity. But hopefully, out of all of that, we'll be able to realise that actually it is about looking after your neighbour. Yeah. It is about sharing. It is about appreciating your health and doing whatever you can to make sure that you are keeping well, not only in your body but um, and in mind. Yes. Um, and just just make sure that you're looking after yourself. But this is going to be with us for probably a few months yet. And yeah, it's not. Yeah, it, 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 it will be. So it up, yeah. anyhow, mm. I think that's all we have to say today. Yes, but please take care of yourself. Take care and um, look after yourself. Keep washing your hands. And um, you know, hopefully we'll see you. We'll see you back in a week or so. Yes. Okay then. Take care. Bye now. Bye. Bye.